All right, so in order to make holes, what we're going to use is we're going to start a, a sketch so we can tell it where we want the hole to be. And I want to pick on the surface I'm going to put the hole on, so I'm going to pick there. And then if I'm just going to put one hole, I can go in and I can just put in a point. So I can just put a point somewhere, and that's there. And now I want to dimension where that is, so just dimension from that point, let's say to this edge, and then come over here. And don't just try and drop it here. Come out to the side some more so you're out of the way. I'm going to tell that I want to be one inch from this side there, and I want it to be half an inch from the side there. Now I can tell it to finish. Now I'm going to go in and use the hole command. And I can just pick on that point, and it'll put the hole in. So if I'm looking at the hole command here, I've got a lot of options. So the first thing is extents. Do I want it to go just a certain depth? So I don't want to make it just, you know, go part of the way into it. Let me make this a little bit smaller. Let me make it a quarter inch hole. So you can see, I can control the depth of it here. And it puts that little point on it from the end of the drill bit. Automatically, if I want it to be a flat bottom hole, I can do this. Well, I'm going to use a, a milling bit to do it, or um, they have a lot of really good kind of flat bottom drills that they can use on CNC machines. I can do that. Or I can have here, or I can just tell it that I want to go all the way through. So for a lot of things that we're going to be doing in the, the sheet metal and weldments, when we're using tubing and things, we're just going to drill all the way through. Um, so that's always an option there. So simple hole just gives you a, a hole there. We can do a counterboard hole, where now it puts an, an extra kind of piece here, so that way I can have the head of a bolt sit flush. Or I can use a countersink and have it do the same thing, but now a flathead screw could, could fit in there. So that's good, but here I'm specifying the exact diameter of the hole. But if I wanted to use a quarter inch screw and I have a quarter inch hole, it's going to not fit very well. So if I go to here to clearance, and now I go down and tell it what kind of fastener is going to go in the hole. So I'm going to tell it it's going to be a unified screw thread. And because it's a countersink, it's going to do a flathead. But if I go to the counter bore, it'll give me the options of a socket head, um, socket head or a hex head a screw. So you can see if I change it to a hex, it's going to be bigger to allow size for the socket also. Then I can tell what size. So I tell it a quarter inch. And now you can see this size, that whole diameter to be 0.266. And so that will give it. 16 thousandths of space to kind of move around. I could also change it to be even looser than that or tighter than that if I wanted to. Um, or I could add it, tell it to be threaded. So maybe make it just a simple hole, tell it to be threaded. I could tell it to model the threads or not. So if I was going to 3D print it, I'd model it. If I'm just going to do a drawing, then I don't want to model that. And so I can put that in and say, okay. If I wanted to put in more than one hole at a time, that are going to be exactly the same, I can still create that sketch. And depending on how I want the holes to come in, if I just want them to be two holes, I could create a line. You know, maybe draw two holes here, I'll then be lined up vertically, so I can just do that, or you know, put it go here, use my constraint, tell it to be vertical. Now I can say I want to go from here. I'll come over one inch from that edge. I want to come up half an inch. And I want to be an inch and a half apart. And now when I finish that and go to hole, I can just pick those two points, tell those both to be clearance holes for a 5 16th. Tell them to go through all and say OK. And now it puts in those two holes. If I wanted a pattern of holes for something, I could go here to rectangular pattern, and you can see a few different options here. I'm going to, tell it, I'm going to pattern a feature. I can grab that hole there, and then I can pick on axis and pick a direction, and now I can tell it I'm going to go that way and that way, and I can control. I like to control the spacing, and so I want three holes three quarters of an inch apart there, and on that direction I want three holes half an inch apart. There, if I want to add more, I can grab this one and I can 
use this to add or reduce the number of rows, or I can grab the arrow to change the spacing. Same thing here, I can go up here, and more rows there, and say okay, and now I have a lot of holes put in there. So, sometimes though, when you want to put a hole in the side of a pipe, so this is a little bit more of a, okay, it takes a little extra step, because we don't have a plane to draw on here. And so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna to go to construct here and tell it to do a tangent plane. I can pick on the pipe. And so this reference plane, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of turn this on and grab one of these planes. You can see it kind of highlighting over there. So that way it knows the, the angle from that. So if I tell it to be 45, it's measuring at 45 degrees from that, that top plane. Or zero, it's gonna line up there. So I can move it around. And now I'll go ahead and create a sketch on this top surface here. And you can see it kind of it pulled the origin right there because I had drawn this on that origin. But let's say I want to measure the hole from this side. And so I want to be able to reference this edge here when I put it in and I want it centered on the tube. I don't want it off to the side or anything. And so I'm going to go down to create, go to project and include and go to project then pick on this edge. And what's going to do is going to kind of make it, if I look straight down, makes a new line where that kind of edge can be seen from that direction. Um, but I don't remember, I don't like to work in that view, but I can just go there, check it, make sure that, yeah, it is lined up. And now I can draw a line. I'm going to draw a line from the middle of that. I'm just going to draw it this way. And now I can just dimension it until it, that I want that hole to be in one and a half inches from that end. I can finish. And now I can do my whole command, pick on there. And so this is one where maybe I don't want it to go all the way through. I just want it to go through part there. Or I can say two and I just pick the inside face there. Now it's just going to go through one side of the tube. Or I can tell it to go all the way through. Maybe I want a hole that's one size on one side and a different size on the other side. Now I can use that counter bore. And right now it's going to give me there's automatic sizes, but I can do a simple and then I can adjust. Those sizes here to make a bigger hole here. And a smaller hole there. So I have that. So a couple of different options on how to make holes, how to get things lined up. So I hope you learn something there and hope it helps.